BestBookBits.com presents Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, published back in 2016 and weighing in at 386 pages. In this candid and riveting memoir, for the first time ever, Nike founder and CEO Phil Knight shares the inside story of the company's early days as an intrepid startup and its evolution into one of the world's most iconic, game-changing and profitable brands. In 1962, fresh out of business school, Phil Knight borrowed $50 from his father and created the company with a simple mission, import high-quality, low-cost athletic shoes from Japan. Selling the shoes from his trunk, Knight grossed $6,000 his first year. Today, Nike's annual sales top $30 billion. The swoosh has become a revolutionary, globe-spanning icon, one of the most ubiquitous and recognized symbols in the world today. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of Shoe Dog. This is a book of memories, and as it usually happens with them due to our faltering memory, they are not exactly structured or consequential. Writing them on paper does help, but Knight doesn't make it easy for his readers, expecting them to know everything he does at all times. Even more supposedly, they'll be able to remember all the names and their noteworthiness when they appear 50 or so pages later. But a summary is a summary for a reason, so let's extract only the main parts of Phil Knight's 1962 to 1980 biography. More or less, that makes his memoir a story of one name, two companies, and three people. It's 1962, and Phil Knight is on an after-graduation around-the-world trip. In November 1962, he visits the Ontosaka Company in Kobe, Japan. Fascinated by the quality of their shoes and, moreover, their affordability, he arranges a meeting with the Ontosakas executives. He tells them that he's a representative of Blue Ribbon Sports and he's interested in buying the exclusive rights for distribution of Ontosakas Tiger shoes in Western USA. But what he doesn't tell them is a more interesting part and the stuff entrepreneurs dreams are made of. You see, Blue Ribbon Sports is not exactly a company. It's a business operated by Knight in his parents' house and is not exactly a representative. He is basically the company. Many years before Persuasion, Knight pulls a trick out of Robert Ciardini's book on influence and he does a heck of a good job. The first two pairs of Ontosaka Tiger shoes are mailed by Knight to Bill Bowerman in an attempt to get an endorsement. He is the second most important person in our story, a legendary track and field coach at the University of Oregon and a trainer of more than 50 Olympians. He is also the co-founder of Nike Inc. Because he also receives the shoe samples, Bowerman doesn't merely want to endorse them, he wants to take part in selling them. Soon, business is booming and Ontosaka Tiger stops looking at Blue Ribbon Sports as an ally, but as a competitor. Cue the long legal struggles and Knight's and Bowerman's attempt at Plan B. If they can't distribute high-quality, low-cost athletic shoes, why shouldn't they create them themselves? Fortunately, Plan B turns out to be even better than Plan A, and it's all due to Knight's entrepreneurship skills and Bowerman's innovator's brain. Have you ever heard of the Waffle Soul? Well, Bowerman invented it, and that's how Nike was born. Oh, we're running ahead of ourselves. That's how a pair of great nameless shoes were designed. But in order to be registered at a US patent office, it had to have a name. It came into a dream of the first Blue Ribbon employee, Jeff Johnson, a day before the paperwork was filed. Nike. And it sure trumped what Knight and Bowman had come up with. Falcon Ben Glenden Demexidist. Okay, there's a few names jumbled into one, but you know how a few hours before a deadline is. And that's where the third person enters the story, Steve Profonte, a runner and a superstar. The second athlete to endorse Nike after remaining in tennis great, Eli Nasty, and the first American to do so. His story is remarkable in itself, and we strongly advise you to read it. In the context of Nike, Profonte will always be remembered as the man who paved the way for, say, the Air Jordans, and the man who started a long list of Nike sponsorships. You know, the thing that led you to buy in the now coveted pair of Nikes. Key lessons from Shoe Dog. Number one, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Number two, and three, and never quit. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. 
Sure, the verse comes straight from the New Testament, but it's also a sentence in any entrepreneur's book, and Knight is no exception. When he saw an opportunity window onto Saka Tiger's shoes, he didn't want to wait. He went there fearless as a representative of a one-man company. It didn't matter that Ontosaka was one of the oldest Japanese shoe factories. It mattered that Knight wanted to create a future sports giant. And he did. Be as zen as he can be. When it comes to Knight's personal philosophy, he's an ardent believer in the power of Zen Buddhism. He has used it to overcome many obstacles and achieve his career goals. He firmly believes that his ego is his enemy. His ego is his enemy, and he has often tried to do away with it in order to make better decisions. Knight claims that these tactics have worked for him every time, and there's no reason why you shouldn't believe him. And keep running. Winston Churchill once said, If you're going through hell, keep going. Phil Knight thinks the very same. His words are somewhat different. Read them in the quote section, but the moral is the same. In his opinion, this is not only a good advice, it's the best advice you can get, and the only advice you really need. And that's a wrap on Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits. Like and share if you got something from this summary and comment on what one thing stood out for you. Thanks for watching and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.